why open system is called controlled volume system and why closed system is called controlled mass system so these are two systems we have open system and closed systems they are called controlled volume and controlled mass respectively so why are they called so this is an interesting question that could be raised now let me give you the answer if you see an open system you can see that there is a continuous flow of mass right there is some mass that is going in and there is that mass which is coming out so in th in this case you cannot have your volume fixed that means the mass is continuously flowing so of course the volume is continuously changing as you can see so in this way you cannot say that the system you will have if it is an open system will have the same or the constant boundary you cannot have a fixed boundary in case of open system and or you can also say that there is no boundary in case of open system so therefore comes the concept of an imaginary boundary that we create in open system what is that imaginary boundary as we know there are three types of boundary one is physical boundary which is the fixed boundary second is moving boundary which is also fixed boundary but it is moving and there is third type of boundary which is an imaginary boundary that is made for open system particularly why do we made the boundary because as we have said there is no fixed volume and the volume is continuously changing so we have to create a boundary uh, for the system because we are going to study the system and we always have boundary when we are studying the system so that we can calculate the en energy interaction across that boundary so to get a particular system in case of open system we consider a boundary which is in which is an imaginary boundary and when we consider a boundary so what happens we have considered a particular volume of an open system of an system so that is our open system in which there is no real boundary but we assume that there is a boundary and we study that uh, we study and our focus will be concentrated across the boundary and our system will be whatever we have inside that boundary and in case of control mass we have you can see this is an example this is an example of a moving boundary as this piston will go up this boundary will change so when this boundary will change the mass will be same right the mass will remain constant so there is this control mass which we could also say closed system because there is no interaction of mass across the boundary of the system so this boundary will change if you go from if this piston will go here let's say so the boundary will be increased still the mass will remain constant right so we can say in open system as we have no boundary we call it as control volume and in control in closed system we have boundary we have fixed boundary therefore we call it as the mass remains constant inside it therefore we also call it as control mass system 